Hello and welcome to another Project for Awesome video. This year, like we have been doing for the past five years now, we will be talking about the charity Nephew Kidney International. Check out all of our previous Project for Awesome videos in the description below. This is the kidney. Nephew Kidney International is the only organization exclusively committed to research into FSGS and nephrotic syndrome in order to improve treatment and find a cure. Nephew Kidney International is a charity that's very close to my heart, as my younger brother Ethan suffers from nephrotic syndrome. Hi, my name is Ethan. When I was eight years old, I was diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome, which has resulted in quite the wild ride, with many hospitalizations to trying out various medicines. After my biopsy, my nephrologist was able to better determine which medications could help my condition. Nephrotic syndrome has affected my life in many ways, yet I am still optimistic for better treatment options in the future. Nephrotic syndrome is estimated to affect 5 out of every 100,000 people worldwide. Being a rare disease, the process of recognizing and diagnosing the condition is often a long process with many stages. Initial causes of concern for nephrotic syndrome often come from its symptoms. These symptoms include edema, which is severe swelling, weight gain, loss of appetite, fatigue, and foamy urine. These symptoms are caused by a failure of the kidney's glomeruli, or filtering units, to properly filter out the blood. So instead of filtering out the waste and keeping the important molecules in, the kidneys filter out everything, including important molecules such as proteins. This is a podocyte. It is a kidney cell. So it has good needle a lot. Once a doctor recognizes these symptoms as a case of nephrotic syndrome, their first line of treatment is normally steroids. However, patients do not always respond to steroids. In these cases, a procedure known as kidney biopsy may have to be performed. Kidney biopsies are often misunderstood by patients, but are crucial in determining the nature of each patient's condition. A few months after being diagnosed, I had to get a kidney biopsy. The goal of the kidney biopsy was to identify what kind of kidney disease I had, to allow for the right treatments. I remember the biopsy vividly, even though it has been more than six years now. The biopsy was not as scary as I anticipated, as I remembered not even knowing that I was being sedated and waking up later in a hospital bed. After the biopsy, I had to stay lying down for a few hours, but that wasn't so bad because I got to play video games the whole time. A kidney biopsy is completed by taking small samples from a patient's kidney, either by needle or by surgical removal. These samples are then sent to a pathologist, who analyzes them under an electron microscope to look for patterns in scarring, as well as the size and shape of tissues. With this information, they are then able to diagnose an individual patient's cause for nephrotic syndrome. Examples of these causes include FSGS, minimal change disease, and IgA neuropathy. In each of these conditions, there's a slightly different pattern in scarring in the tissue, which allows the pathologist to understand which condition is causing the nephrotic syndrome. If the cause of the nephrotic syndrome is successfully identified, then treatments can be made in order to best suit the patient's condition. While biopsies are a great tool in diagnosis, they aren't foolproof, and can often result in misdiagnosis depending on the sample of cells taken. Nefker Kidney International is currently working on research to better understand and analyze samples of kidney biopsies, as well as better diagnose the condition overall. One promising project is their research titled Foundational Toolbox for the Neptune Digital Pathology-Based Analytical Histomic Interrogation Platform. This research was the winner of their 2017 NEFCURE grant, and it's looking into new ways to diagnose and then treat nephrotic syndrome. This year, the grant was awarded to Dr. Benjamin Humphreys from the University of Washington on his research titled Single Nucleus RNA Sequence Pilot Study on Biobank Human Kidney Biopsies. This study hopes to find new therapeutic targets and approaches to treating nephrotic syndrome by looking at patient biopsies. By supporting Nefcure Kidney International, you are supporting research like this, as well as the amazing support network that they have for their patients. Choosing Nephew Kidney International as a P4A 2018 charity would mean so much to us. Please vote, comment, and share. I like Nephew because they help my brother's kidney. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to be awesome. Please consider voting, commenting, and sharing this video. Have a great project for awesome, and don't forget to be awesome.